my thoughts on terraforming Mars. How much progress has been made on this front? My thoughts on setting up a base on the moon, tapping asteroids as a source of energy. Well, to terraform Mars, we would first need to get to Mars, and that is not going to happen anytime immediately. Uh, maybe by the 2030s, we may send the first missions to Mars. Uh, that is, the Americans will do it. Elon Musk has plans. NASA has plans. So the Americans will most likely try doing this in the 2030s. The Russians may have plans. They may be working with, with the Chinese in this matter. So the first tentative baby steps will be taken most likely in the 2030s about reaching Mars. Now, in order to terraform a planet like Mars, you would need a substantial human presence on Mars. You would need tens of thousands of people and you would need to transfer a great deal of equipment to Mars, either transfer, transfer it there or to build new equipment on Mars using the local resources. So you would need to do mining, mining on Mars. You would need to extract metals and other resources, create machines and create settlements. And then you can think about terraforming the planet. Now, terraforming Mars would basically what, what's, what we are thinking is that we should escape the Earth and go to Mars because we have ruined Earth. We have messed it up very badly. My, my, my point is that if we have messed up the Earth so badly, what is the I mean, what is the possibility that we'll not do the same on Mars? We're going to have the same patterns of behavior that we have here on Earth. So what we'll do is we, we will mess up the Earth, then we will escape to Mars, then we will mess up Mars as well, and then where do we go? <laughs> so that is the dilemma that we are currently grappling with because the system that we are currently uh, following, the system of this, this relentless per pursuit of endless growth, of endless GDP growth, we think that we can have endless GDP growth on a limited planet, on a planet with limited resources, it is only going to end up in disaster. So this system, this capitalist exploitative system, which exploits the environment, needs to be abandoned for something that is better. I am not advocating Marxism or socialism or communism. I am just saying that we need a better system than what, what, what we are currently following. So... That's what we need to do. Terraforming Mars, it may be possible in the future. I would not want us to nuke Mars. We have ice caps on the poles of Mars. Uh, Elon Musk says we should nuke them to quickly bring about a radical change in the, in the atmosphere of Mars. I would be strongly against that. We should not take actions that we have no way of reversing. So as of now, very little progress has been made about this. My thoughts on setting up a base on the moon, it's, it's going to happen very soon. It's going to happen in this decade. The first steps will be taken by the Americans, most likely in 2024. The Chinese are already making progress. They are sending probes to the moon. India has been trying it. Uh, our last mission was a partial success, Chandrayaan-2. Our lander could not make it in one piece. We're going to try it again maybe this year or the next year. So the Americans are, gonna, are going to have a base on the moon by 24, 25, definitely in this decade, most likely the Chinese and the Russians too. And I hope that the Indian government also takes uh, steps because we cannot afford to be left behind in the space race. What's going to happen is that in the 21st century, the nations, the two or three nations that are going to be at the forefront of space exploration are going to be the two or three nations that are going to lead the world. That's It's as simple as that. So if India has any aspiration or any ambition of being a global power and to have a sovereign identity of its own, then it needs to strongly focus on space exploration because the technological spin-offs that come out of space exploration are extremely useful in geopolitical applications. So that's what needs to happen. Tapping asteroids is a source of energy. Well, asteroids will be mined for metals, most likely. Uh, many asteroids are metallic in nature. Iron asteroids, nickel also is found, and various other metals as well. 
So asteroid mining will happen eventually in the next coming decades, definitely in the 21st century if we don't mess things up. So it will the asteroid belt will be tapped for metals and other resources, not necessarily for energy. Energy will come from the moon because the the lunar dust contains great amounts of a rare isotope of helium, which is not found on Earth. And that will be the fuel for future nuclear reactors. So the moon is going to be a great source of energy. And that's why there is this great moon race going on right now. 